As we've been reporting, the Justice Department is appealing a federal judge's decision to appoint a special master for the Mar-a-Lago records seized by the FBI from former President Trump's Florida estate. We spoke exclusively with one of the nation's most respected and experienced special masters, lawyer Kenneth Feinberg, who told us the job may be impossible to fill and any candidate will face political backlash. You and your team have handled some of the most high-profile cases that have required a special master. How many and what are some of the most notable? Well, there have been about a half a dozen over the years. Agent Orange involving Vietnam veterans, the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund appointed by Attorney General John Ashcroft and the Bush administration, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill appointed by um, President Obama and the Department of Justice, sometimes a judge sometimes an executive branch official. Based on your experience, what skills would a special master need in the Mar-a-Lago case? Unique. Unique. First of all, does the special master have the, the resume, highly sensitive national secret information? Um, is there somebody out there with that experience and that clearance to review these highly sensitive documents. Secondly, it would have to be somebody who's willing to take on the heat. It's a highly politicized appointment. When I'm appointed a special master, 9-11, Deepwater Horizon, there was no objection. Both sides, all sides hoping for a prompt resolution, compensation. This case will be politically charged from the get-go. Will somebody be willing to brace themselves uh, to take the heat? Because there will be heat. Have you been approached about being the special master in this case? Thank goodness, no. Uh, if you were approached, would you consider it? No. I would, Why not? I don't have that skill set. Mm -hmm. um, I have some security clearances over the years. I still have security clearances. But that level of security clearance, uh, coupled with the special, really the special expertise that I think a, an individual would have to have, mm -hmm. Uh, leads me to believe that I'm not the right person for this assignment. If a special master were to be appointed, what would your advice or warnings be? Well, brace yourself. But uh, this person, more than anything else, better have a, um, a good sense of what he or she is up against in what is a very politically charged um, assignment. Let's take that a step further, because I can hear a note of concern uh, in your voice, what, what concerns you for whoever may become a special master in this case? What makes these assignments so unique and so difficult is the emotional overhang, the political overhang. And I would ask or I would suggest to anybody who's considering this, think long and hard. There are people in the, uh, over the years in the national uh, uh, security apparatus who have wonderful resumes exemplary service to the people of this country. Now you're being asked to take on an assignment that has the potential to tarnish that reputation and bring you into the political polarization of modern America. You better be careful before you take that step, even if it's offered to you. Just to follow up, when you say tarnish, are, are you talking specifically about the difficulty of, of stripping the politics out of this case. It's impossible to do that. That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. This is a political appointment. Uh, now, I agree there are very substantive national security concerns, but this is already, you know, if you're asked to do this, brace yourself. Uh, one side or the other, they're going to be looking at uh, how you behaved in grammar school. And um, um, never mind, it was 70 years ago or 60 years ago. I mean, this is, this is political warfare of the type that we've been seeing over the last decade. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very problematic. Based on your experience, does a special master appointment make sense in this case? No. The idea that the judiciary will intervene in what is essentially a highly skilled executive branch function of classifying uh, documents, um, I don't think uh, it is a good idea for the judiciary to get involved. But I must say the decision's been made mm -hmm. and the appellate court will review it. I could very much be incorrect on this. And um, uh, it'll also be difficult if you go forward 
to find a consensus candidate. In this appeal, does the Justice Department make an effective legal argument? Well, they have the better of it, I think, on appeal. And that decision will have to be rendered under the rule of law by an appellate court. Supreme Court, uh, J Justice Department or the Trump administration may seek um, Supreme Court review, ultimately. I have no idea. Do you think it could go that far? Oh, well, sure, it could. I don't know if it will. The problem with Supreme Court review or appellate court review, I'm sure the Justice Department weighed this, potential for delay. The Justice Department really feels an obligation to move quickly in examining exactly the implications of what it allegedly found in mar del lago The counter-argument is that there are deep divisions about this search at mar lago and a special master would bring a greater level of transparency to the process. Well, that's the argument on the other side. I don't poo-poo that argument. I mean, it's not as if that's not a, a, an argument that can be made, and I think it's a credible argument, frankly. It's overcome by the nature of the uh, documents, the history of the department's efforts to get the documents, mm -hmm. Uh, the careful consideration the department and the national security agencies uh, took to try and avoid uh, this type of um, battle. And, uh, but I, I appreciate both sides of the arguments. What you're saying is that the, the defining issue here is what may be the highly classified nature of the documents under review and the potential risk to sources, methods of collection. Exactly, that's right. And and the um, and I think the rather unique uh, effort by the judiciary to interfere with a clear historical executive branch function, especially at the highest levels of classification and of information. And uh, I think in some, a. It's a bad idea for the courts to interfere, although that may be the decision of the courts, and I respect that. And B, if there's going to be a special master finding such a person, selecting somebody who will have the uh, background and the personality uh, uh, to take the heat of what will obviously be a, a, a political battle royal, I fear. Do you have any concerns that whoever might be appointed as special master could face credible threats? Oh, I think so. Years ago, not so long ago, I would have thought, no, that's highly, highly unlikely. I've never faced, well, in 9-11, a few threats, but they weren't, I didn't consider them credible. These days, in this atmosphere, in this nation, yes. I think that we've seen that in the last few months and years, threats to the FBI, threats to others in government. And I think that's another factor that will enter into in whether anybody is willing uh, to take on such a uh, highly charged uh, assignment.